Hello everyone, this is Gary and today we're doing another life skills video. Now the way in which these videos work is this. There are three sections. This first section gives you a broad outline of the subject and the topics it will be covering as part of that subject. The middle section then deals with the meat of the subject, the detail, and I found it best to do that uh, through a series of uh, slides. And then the final section is just a quick summary of what we have covered. Now, uh, in case you miss anything, um, all the detail that you hear and that you see in this video is also set out in the description box below. And in addition, there are some links to other relevant videos. So having done the quick introduction, let's just get into it. Okay, so let's get into it. We're looking at three steps to propose a strategy. And I'm going to talk about how you do that. You always read the small print, of course. So, step one, the big idea. After all, well, that is why you're proposing a strategy. You have a big idea. So, set out what's your big idea and what is the long-term objective which it serves. You've also got to set out the current position because after all when you are proposing a strategy you are proposing a change, a change from the current position. So you have to explain how does it fall short of the overall objective. Why does the current position fall short of the objective? The objective for your business, for your adventure, or venture of some sort or other. In other words, why the status quo no longer works. That is the context in which you are proposing your strategy. So, a couple of extra points for that step one. It's about a journey. Okay, it's about where we are now. Where do we need to go and how do we get there? After all, as I have said, you are proposing a strategy and that means you are proposing a change to the way things are currently done. So you've got to take people with you on that journey. And the strategy is all about how you are going to bring about that change. The word strategy sounds more complex more complicated, more difficult than it really is. What it really is, is a discussion about how you propose to do something, how you propose to bring about change. So, step two is that you have to, in fairness, look at all the options. In other words, what are the alternatives to your big idea? And you do that to show that you have taken an overall view and that you are fully aware of what is available. And then on conclusion, having looked at the pros and cons of each of those alternatives, yours is the best. Your big idea is the one. Now, how do you do an analysis of pros and cons? Well, there is what is known as the spot analysis. Very well understood. It can be easily researched but broadly. You look at the strengths, the weaknesses, opportunities and the threats of those alternatives. And you've got to look at what those strategies would cost. The cost as opposed to the benefit and the benefit when measured against that cost. A couple of extras then really to that step two. And that is this. You may want as part of your strategy to develop a scorecard of some sort as a way of measuring your success. How do you know when this is successful and how successful do you need to be for it to be successful, if you follow what I mean. And in the same, in the same vein, you need some milestones. Not tombstones, as I often say, but milestones. In other words, um, points along the journey that will track your 
progress towards the overall object. And to do that, you're going to need some KPIs, and these key performance indicators, because they are the things against which you measure your success. They are the things that are part of your scorecard, and they are also the things when you achieve them that track your progress and your milestones. So key performance indicators. So now we move on to step three. What is the way Forward. Well, the way forward is not surprisingly that you suggest one of the options as a way forward, and if your analysis is correct, that is preferably going to be your big idea. You have to identify the rewards if it goes well, and the risks if it doesn't go as well as planned. And preferably, if you can, develop as part of your strategy an exit strategy so that you know what the outcome will look like and you know how you're going to manage things if it does not go plan. A couple of extras then for step three. Identify the next steps to implement your strategy. And you need to identify the smart actions that need to be taken in order to implement. In other words, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely actions. And then finally, you've got to identify who is the boss here, who is going to manage this process, who is in charge, and who is going to be doing what and reporting to whom. In other words, what are the reporting mechanisms? So if you're going to propose a strategy, well, it is as easy as that. Okay, so I hope you found that life skills video useful and interesting. And as I've said before, uh, all the detail which I've covered in this video is also set out to assist you in the description box below. And you will also see a number of links to other relevant uh, life skills uh, videos. Now, all that's really left for me to say after that is that if you like this video, please mark it as a like. And if you wish to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. Finally then, let me just say thank you very much for watching this video and bye for now.